Well, hello everybody. RV Debs here. I hope everyone's having a good day. It's Tuesday. It's around 5.15. And um, I am getting ready to get out for the uh, evening. I'm going to the Thirsty Marlin for dinner with the group of people that I went to spouse loss group with uh, uh, through hospice. We go once a month and this is our this is our day, so we're all he heading over to uh, the Thirsty Marlin, which is a good place to eat, and it's close by. Um, been very busy today. Uh, BJ brought the last of everything that was at the house. And, uh, oh, it's just overwhelming, absolutely. Um, you can see I've got more stuff now. All, the, all this has to be narrowed down and put somewhere. And that's the hardest thing. I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. If I wasn't going to be traveling, I could overload this. I mean, I could have things all over the place. And I do right now. I've got a lot of stuff. But um, when I go to travel, I do realize that I'm going to have to downsize even further so that everything has a place to be tucked back for the road. Because if I'm on the road overnight, I can't open up the trailer and get comfortable if I've got too many things in the way. That's what I've come to terms with. But right now I'm comfortable and it'll take me a few weeks to really figure out what I don't want, what I don't need. And I am going to have to live like that. And I think I might put a box together and send it to Texas of some of the things I really do like. That's why I kept them. But, um, yeah, Kat's got a garage, and she's already told me that I can store some things there. And when I do get to Texas, I'm going to lighten up my truck. I want the back of my truck to just really um, have very, you know, half as much as it has in it now. So I do, I do know that that's got to happen. i got to lighten up the whole load so that I'm not um, feeling overloaded. I will get weighed on the highway, I'm sure, of course. Um... And a lot of people ask me a lot about, you know, what I'm going to do and things like that. And, uh, you know, I, um, I don't mind buying propane. It's the water heater and, the, and cooking. That's the only thing it's being used for. I'll see how long it lasts. Um, I got a lantern, which I've got outside. There's still a few things out there. I want to show you my outside when it looks really nice. I've got two nice chairs and a picnic table, but right now, uh, no, it's got. I've got some stuff to put away. Not too much, but I'm not ready to show that part yet. Um, my bathroom's comfortable. Um, I just got to remember to turn off the air conditioner when I do my uh, a curling iron or something like the toaster, and I do haven't had a problem yet and um, making food isn't that bad I think um, someone gave me a real good idea that um, next to my kitchen I guess wait you know right there on the side of the kitchen I'm gonna put I'm gonna have um, some sort of a table that pulls out for extra counter space. That was a good idea. Thank you for all the ideas and comments. I do appreciate them. I um, I do try to answer each one. I get sometimes I get overloaded, but then I'll go back and you know try to answer them. And um, I'm over 700 on subscribers, so I'm delighted. It's exciting to to feel that there's so many people who are tuning in and, and caring enough to watch my videos and leave comments and be kind and, and thoughtful that it just makes me feel great so that's a real good thing and um, yeah so I'm gonna go out I've got about probably another half hour here and then I'll go and um, when I come back I'm gonna try to straighten up the rest of this because tomorrow at like about 11 a.m., a very old dear friend of mine, his name is Steve, and I might even do a video if he lets me. Uh, he's, was been, he's been a friend of mine since like 1974, and at one point we lived together for a couple years. Um, 
we always were just really good friends, really. Um, I adore him. He's married. He lives in the Carolinas. He's a golf pro. He's a veteran of the Vietnam War. He, I think he was there like twice, and he was highly decorated. He's quite, quite a man, a really nice friend. So he's taking me to lunch tomorrow, and I think he's going to show me how to, um, I think we're going to go to a Target place, and I'm going to learn how to handle a gun, because I never really have done it, so I'm going to try it. Uh, years ago, like when I was in my early 20s, uh, I did go Target, like Target shooting with a 30 out 6 I remember uh, it just pushed me back, and you know, I was like, okay, that, that was fun, but I wasn't into it. But I think being on the road and being single, uh, there's nothing, I think you should definitely um, protect yourself. And um, I will if I have to. So anyway, that's just something I'm going to learn how to do. I'm not sure what that what will happen after that. I hope you all have a great night. Talk to you tomorrow. And be grateful for your loved ones. You never know. Just make each day count. This is the Thirsty Marlin. This is the restaurant that I'm having dinner at tonight with a bunch of friends. Nice day in Florida. And it's kind of mild. It's not really that hot right now. Well, I'm a little early, but I'm going to get going, so I'll talk with you all later. And I have some yummy food. I think I'm going to get the, uh, they have the best uh, green fried green tomatoes I've ever had. So that's what I think I'm gonna get. No fat. Save my contacts, my calendars, and my photos. Those are yeah. the only thing I really, yeah. when I had to, when I, I lost all my photos from my pool. Because I didn't have to do it. And I'll even do me. My pool wasn't automatic. Yeah. You had to make it do it.